Hello everyone, myself Dr. Jyoti Mandala. Welcome you all to the video lecture series on um, shell programming. So we are learning about different types of commands. So we have already learned like what is the use of ln command, cat command, touch command, all these things. Different commands, I think nearly 10 to 15 commands we have already learned. So in today's class, we'll see about this sort command. So the name itself, it is reflecting here what is sort. Sort command is nothing but if you want to sort the contents of the file in a particular order, then you can go with this sort command. Okay, note down the statement all of you. Sort command is used to, is used to sort the contents of the file in a particular order. Now, whenever it is sorting in a particular order, the reference is it will be considering the contents of the file as ASCII contents. You all know uh, uh, what is the ASCII content. By default, that means by default, the sort will consider assumes the contents are in ASCII. ASCII is nothing but American Standard Code for Information Interchange. That means universally uh, all the alphabets like uppercase letters and lowercase letters, numbers, special characters, for each and every character uh, they have given a unique code that is called as ASCII code. Okay. Now you, considering that one it will be, uh, the, it will be sorting the elements. Alright, now here you need to understand one important point, whenever we are using sort, no, it is nothing but, it is, uh, it, it, it is not going to sort the elements in the file itself, only for the display purpose it is showing to, it is going to display the contents in the sorted order, that means the contents in the file will not be changed. I will show some example, I will show with an example also, but make a note of this one. Contents in the file will not be changed whenever we are using the sorted order. But when we are using the sorted order, whenever we are using no, uh, it is going to display the contents in the sorted order, that's it. But inside the file it is not going to sort the things. But whenever we want to use the sort, what is the syntax? The syntax is very simple, you need to go with the sort command and then some options are there we'll see what are all the options we have and then you need to write down the file name. very simple okay so let us see some examples before going to use this um, option okay so <clears throat> you all know how to open the terminal or uh, control alt t sorry control alt t okay so control shift plus if you click it will be displaying the so it will be increasing the font of this one. I hope now it is clear to you all. Alright, uh, what I will do, uh, I have created one folder for me that is scripts. I will create some files which I have already created so that it will be very clear to you all how it will be using and all. Okay, now moving back to this terminal, you can see here. Uh, I want to move to this scripts because all my work documents and all created documents I want to maintain at one place so that's I uh, so that's why I have created this scripts folder so I suggest you also to do the same keep your all the documents at one place now here I first in, um, before showing the thing I want to create one file called j1.txt and in that file I want to store some information okay so what sort of information let me store the uh, fruit names okay mango okay banana app next goa and then cherries and then i'll have store apple okay and then pineapple let us consider these are the in, this is the information now if you want to come out of this one click Control plus D, the contents will be saved into that file. So J1. So if you see the contents of the file j1.txt, so this is the content. Now if you want to sort, so let me clear this screen. If you want to sort, then you need to write sort 
okay and i run the file j1 dot txt so the contents if you see here what happened the the list of elements will be displayed in the alphabetical order a comes first b comes next but the real contents will not be changed the contents of the file will not be changed understand here what is j1 dot txt this is the real content but the way they are displaying the contents whenever we are using sort is in the sorting order i hope now it is clear to you all is that clear so the there is no change in the contents of the file only for the displaying purpose it will be displaying the contents in the sorting order alphabetical order right so let us see the multiple options we have in the sort uh, with this sort option keep adding all of you options now what are all the options we have let us see the first option uh, the first option we have is hyphen o now what is the use of this option is if i told you know it is not going to change the contents of the file but if you want to have the change of data also to be stored into another file then you can go with this one o stands for output into another file okay so it is used to store the sorted data into another file okay then this can be done simply by writing sort hyphen o write down the target file name and you write down the source file that means uh, i'll show you the example also this file contains you want to sort and you want to store into target file okay so how that can be done oh sorry sorry this can be done like this see here uh, let me do like this now i have cat j1 dot txt is there with me okay now i want to see here j2 dot txt is not there so i want to sort i want to use hyphen 0 i want to store into j2 dot txt j1 dot txt sorted order so whenever i write like this then j1 dot txt contents that means these contents will be sorted out sorted and that sorted out information will be stored in j2 dot txt observe here parallelly that file will be created automatically if it is not existing if you see j2 dot txt is added now let us see the contents of j2 dot txt okay did you see the sorting order the sorting data will be available got it now the same option can be done in another fashion also like the same thing without using hyphen zero option what you need to do sort you are going to tell sort j uh, sorry source file name okay then copy the contents into target file if you want to see here you can see how we can do sort j1 dot txt and copy the sorted contents into let me take another file j3.txt j3.txt is not yet created okay if you see j3.txt is created suppose let us see j3.txt if you want to see it is see sorted contents are copied there that means by using hyphen 0 you need to give target first if you want if you are not using hyphen 0 just give greater than symbol and storing the contents this you have already used with cat moving the contents from one file to another file here we are moving the sorted contents okay that is first option let us go to the second option the second option is uh, hyphen r if you want to get uh, like alphabetically it is displaying but if you want to get in the reverse order r stands for reverse okay then you need to use this option how you can use let me show you uh, earlier cat this is the information if i write sort j1 dot txt this is the information but if i add sort hyphen r j1 dot txt did you see normally it is considering a as to be first so that means in the ascending order it will be considering but if you write hyphen r it will be displaying in the reverse order did you see so that is what the use of hyphen r now as of now we have considered only characters alphabets okay but if you are using numerics then if you want to get uh, the sorting order of the numerical values then you need to go with the option of hyphen n it is nothing but numerically sorting sort how we can do i'll show you okay let us take one example also what i'll do cat 
I'll write down some information in j2.txt. What I'll do? Randomly some values I'll store. Control D. Now if I display cat j2.txt, this information will be there, right? Whatever I have stopped it. Now if I write sort hyphen n j2.txt, then did you see in the ascending order it is displaying the information. I hope you all are understanding. Okay, in the ascending order, it is not going to change inside the file, but the displaying will be in the ascending order. If you want to get in a descending order, we have here you need to make a note ascending order. Okay, but if you want to get in a descending order, you need to go with the second option hyphen nr. Okay, descending order. Okay, so how can we do that? Sort hyphen nr j2.txt did you see we got the contents in the descending order i hope you all are clear now as of now so alphabetical character string data how can we sort numerics how can we sort individually if you are storing you can do that but suppose if you are storing some table of data then the table of data if you want to sort by considering as by referring one column then how can you do let us consider student information is there where roll number name registration um, number and their attendance marks everything will be there now as per the marks i want to sort the things the complete table then how can we do we can also do that one by using sort where the option we have is hyphen k so this is used to sort a table based on any column we need to consider one column as a reference by considering that column we need to do so what is the syntax for this one sort hyphen k you need to tell the column number and then you need to tell the file name like let us consider you want to sort as per the second column then you need to write sort hyphen k if you want to sort as per the second column you write second number that is 2n is nothing but second column okay and then write down the file name let me show you one example uh, let me create one table cat greater than i'll create this one i'll store some information in this uh, mango uh, is is of cost 50 okay apple is of cost 150 kiwi is of cost 170 okay and what's next anything else banana we can consider of cost 30 and of cost 50 okay this is the information this is the table of information i have, I have taken i have considered two columns okay now if i want to sort as per the second column as per the cost i want to sort then what what is the column number this is the first column and this is the second column so you need to write 2 n and what is the file name 3 so did you see as per the cost it has sorted as per the second column 15 30 like that but understand this is not going to disturb your real contents of j3 j3.txt will be having this data only but only visually it will be displayed like this suppose if you want to sort as per your first column then see a, a comes first then b comes first so alphabetically it has sorted accordingly the second column will be rearranged okay so this is how if you want to sort a table based on a particular column that can be done but as per the row we cannot do as per the column only we can do got it so these are all the multiple options we have with the sort command so basically sort command is used to um, rearrange or to arrange the records in a particular order i hope you all are clear with this sort command do, do practice this command okay so let us all meet in the next lecture with a new command until then, thank you all of you.